Hi, this is Trey Ganzel, Metalhead Tools, and this is the hole finder to be used with the Metalhead Tools EFI Elite Folder Indicator. The way I make slip joint knives is a little bit not different, but I machine all the parts. I own a Haas mini mill, Haas office lathe. I design my own CAD program, design CAD files, and design my own CAM, the manufacturing part of it, tool paths, and machine out the parts myself. So from one step to the next, it's all me. In the end, once I have a completed knife, there's not a cut I made from the machine that's still on it. All the knife is finished off by hand. All the polishing, everything's done. But I'm going to show you how if you have a hard pattern you work from, which I do, all of my parts are going to be identical. All the holes are going to be the same place. And I'm just lacking the middle spring hole. So what I do is I'll take the hole finder that I showed in the previous segment, put my pins into it, slip the hole finder over the pins like so, make sure everything's tightened down. I'll take the handle back off, put that onto my jig, put that over the pins, make sure everything's snug and in place. Now, it doesn't matter which one of my blades I pick up. These get wedged on there sometimes. They're pretty tight. I know they're all going to be the same. Simpler version of this is I make a top plate that will go right over this section. You can put your hard pattern down over that. Drill your holes into the top plate and then you always have it. Top plate also has the cutout so that you can move your spring and set your blade. Now it's ready, as before, to go in and finish out the tang, the spring, get everything to where you want it before you're going to finish the knife and put it together. So now we'll move the dial indicator back into position. And we're ready to go.